Hey peoples, this is Kimmy Punk and welcome to We Happy Few. Um, I have decided that I'm going to try and complete the entire game. Not just Arthur's story, but the entire game. Yeah, I'm here for the story. I, I actually want to complete the story, so we'll do it. We'll do it easy. Just because I want to complete the story. I am a person who loves the lore. And I I don't want to be that difficult. And Arthur's is the longest running story out of the three characters. Ollie's is the shortest, and Arthur's is the longest. people have no past. Heavens no! for hours oh nose to the grindstone you know then why haven't i heard a single whoosh through the door since 10 o'clock did you forget we're having deirdre's birthday party oh. we've got a pinata right brilliant of course have you forgotten your joy <laughs> of course not snug as a bug on a drug well come on then finish up uh, just have a few more pages I, I, I know you're very busy then don't take too long to finish That's Aha. creepy. The power cell's empty. Well, what will you do? I'll get a new one. It can't be this hard to finish up a day's work, can it? past we can remember safely. Well, I expect you in the conference room presently. Don't dawdle. You don't want to miss the piñata. Um, wasn't Prudence supposed to be coming back today? I made her a welcome back card. Oh. 
Success. Right. Do you think the canister wonders what life's like outside the tube? We'd have to break the tube to get out. Well, that would break it for everybody. See what Miss Bing thinks of your work now, Clive. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that one. Thank you. What's my view? point in time there actually was a way for you to actually play prudence i think that's an actual thing that you could have done i'm taking yours and i'm taking mine like thrown into like the pits so I might as well just do this
you off your joy, Pro. I mean, you too. Standing at the window. We seem to be a bit behind in our work now that you mention it. Search for everything to get me started off on the right foot. I'm sure they'd be reasonable. And remember, no matter what, make sure you're taking enough joy. There's no excuse anymore for feeling bad. Well, I'm afraid it's come to the end of our time. Tune in again next time when we'll talk about malaria. It's not nearly as bad as it sounds. Most people survive it. This is Joe. This is Dr. Jack Worthing. Today, my friend, well, well, well. Mm. All right, here we go. You nearly missed the piñata. It's the most adorable Spanish custom. Uncle Jack did a whole show about it. You smash it until all the sweets come out. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Smash it. Go on, smash its silly face off. You are off your joy. Take one of mine. Oh my lord. He's a downer. Oh, Call security. Down. We've got a downer. Take your joy. Take your joy. Take your joy. Probably a bad time to ask for that raise. You smell gas? Flame and Nora. Forget him, there's no time! Arthur, Sally, and Ollie write many things in their journals. Yeah, so Arthur's chapter, if you haven't heard before, Arthur's chapter takes the longest to complete. And usually people kind of get burnt out after Arthur's chapter. Ollie's is the shortest chapter. Oh. Christ, I thought of those bosses chased me. They were bridges, weren't they? There we go. Notes to myself. Uh, here's a letter from Clive to Miss Bing. Dear Mr. Bert Whistle, it is so thoughtful of you to suggest how to rearrange the department. I am always grateful for your suggestions from junior staff of how to do my job, be job as director. However, I am afraid that it would be destabilizing to swap your office with that of Mr. Hastings. Fortunately, turnover in this department is high. If Prue does not return soon, I don't see why you couldn't have her office. In the meantime, I suggest you pop another joy and you'll feel the sunshine on your face, whether you have a window or not. All the best, Victoria Bing, director. Oh, uh, class. Director Bing, one of your employees is subversive and may be a downer. I overheard him in the commissioner telling a friend that he thinks that his job redacting old articles is silly and what's so scary about the truth. He is very tall, slim, with black hair, brown eyes, and glasses. I know I should have asked his name, but I am a naturally shy woman and... And it leaves off. The tunnels! I'm pretty sure I'm not in the parade anymore. I don't even think I'm still in the village. 
Why ain't Clive just a little piece of shit? Feel free to like, subscribe, or whatever if you think Clive is a little piece of shit. Hey Mr. Mouse, I have some bad news. That person, or that little rat upstairs, I think that might have been your brother. Or your sister. Teddy's off his joy. Perhaps he merely forgot. You have to look after your mates, man. Have you tried tying a string around my finger? Can I pick you up? Prudence really did run off. And she ran this way. I wonder if I'll see her again. Was this mistake? It seemed so clever to disappear at first rather than trying to brazen my way across the bridge. After enough joy, they forget they ever known Prudence Holmes. Beastly Clive would take my office and they forget anyone else was ever in it. But now that I'm here, I wonder should I have put my trust in Mr. Kite? And where are his bloody instructions? In the abandoned house? Yes, but which abandoned house? They're all abandoned. And how to deal with the way all the wastrels? My god, they didn't look like something out of Dante. Or they look like something out of Dante. We chase out whatever... Whenever they wouldn't take their joy, but we never really thought where they went. I knew we chased them when the joy made them sick, but I didn't know it was here to starve, weep, and remember. I assumed they were sent to a sanatorium, a decent hospital. I suppose that's what I wanted to believe. We are all conflict, complicit. We know without knowing and don't want to remember, so we don't. Yeah. Take I'll need some odds and bobs and bits. Some metal, there we go. Three years of the salamander and me getting into constant trouble finally pay off. Nice bobbies oh. seem to have locked me in. I suppose they were worried about the gas. Terribly thoughtful of them. What happened to him? Or rather, who? You're dead. That's what's up. Sorry, bud. Don't know what I need a syringe for. Ralph, are you going to hurt us? No one's going to hurt you, Percy. I... I promise. But... But, but they hurt the city. I don't think they'll blow anything else up. Why? Because we surrendered, I hope. Well, what are we going to do, Arthur? We're brothers. I'll look out for... We'll look out for each other. What's up, 
Carl King. All right, so I don't know if you noticed, but in that scene, that was literally the exact same picture that was from the article earlier. Like, they just, I don't know, thought that they weren't going to do that. Let's see, on the 18th. So the diary of Theodore Minor is literally him going insane. That's, that's literally all that's happening in that diner is him going insane. since primary school. Actually, I think it's the first fight I've been in since primary school. have any other hatches to go to just yet. The bridge. I've got to get to the bridge. In the parade district, which I just got chased out of. Brilliant. Train station. If I can get to the train station, I can just follow the old rail tunnel all the way to the bridge. Be nice if there was a map, wouldn't it? I suppose back in those days we could remember where things were. Berries. They grow all over the garden district, don't they? I guess I can eat these till I run across a pub. somewhere. Or she found a way out.
A Rose of Gilead. Percy told me about these. They're good for wounds and things. Oh. Tortisa. Funny, Percy never played with toys. He didn't like anything that wasn't really the thing it was supposed to be. There's a few more in the Garden District, aren't there? I ought to fill up a canteen or two, shouldn't I? Don't mind me. This ought to be pretty clean. Unlike in the village where they spike it with joy. Nice suit. Thank you. My uncle bought it for me last Christmas. Anxious to get back home to the village? Well, I... Uh, well, I live in the parade. <laughs> You won't get past that door. Not without one of them disposable electrical cars that all the bobbies have. And a power cell. Know where I could mug a bobby? Ho <laughs> ho You're a brave one, aren't you? No. I'll trade you one. Don't you want to go back home? Home to all those bastards who chased me out of my house. When they all catch the plague and die. Then I'll go back. There's something I want a whole lot more. Those Bastards in that camp over there, with the helmets and the proper weapons. They took something from me. You get them back from me. I'll give you my card. Sounds quite dangerous, isn't it? Of course it's bloody dangerous. That's why I'm paying you. Come and find me in that sort of hamlet over there. We'll trade. All right. Well, what are they? My medals. From the war. I won the DSO at Dunkirk, and the Victoria Cross at Ramsgate. Those bastards. They thought it was funny that I still had them. Fucking funny, they thought it was. No, oh, I only need a power cell to fire this thing up. Who'd have stole most of those too? Right. Well, I'll see what I can do. Well, off I go to a camp of robbers. Maybe I can defeat them with my rapier-sharp wit.
Ooh, what can I get? I have 22. Lovely rotten potato. Oh God, that smells awful in there. Goldilocks. Oh. Well, that's terribly romantic, isn't it? They had each other until the end. Sorry. I actually think you owed me a bit of money. Nope, you guys are not. Heaven's alive. It's a bloody fortress.
now entering Barrow home. Sally would have loved this. If I could never get in here. I have to take that elevator. I hope no one notices. Uh, lovely day, Fred. A lovely day it is. Not many people get this far. It's sort of a test. Someone who gets this far usually puts up a decent fight. In the arena. I don't suppose there's some way I could be more useful to you alive. I don't know. Can you juggle? Well, I could write a lovely poem. I won a prize in school. Nah. We've already got a bad. First, put your things in that box. But we'll leave you there to starve. Gird thy loins for the moment of truth, for it is upon you. There's only enough food for the winners, see? Now, lads, choose your weapons. One is quite lethal. The other will just give the other chap some bad dreams. Up to you. That padded one doesn't look nearly as effective. How badly do I not want to kill good old Danny? Padded branch. Which one? Padded branch or pointy stick? Which one do you guys think? Because we already know he's going to go for the pipe. So what do you think? Padded branch or pointy stick? Because I have a feeling he's just going to go straight for that pipe. I kind of want to go with the pointy stick. Yeah. And Danny's picked the lethal one. That's cheery. Hey, sort of guy. I've got great odds on you. Don't fuck it up. He's gonna come on strong with that lead pipe. You're gonna wanna block that. 
Sort of vent. What if I can pry it loose? I'd need a jimmy bar. Vision's loopy from where I ate the potato. I suppose now that no one is actively trying to kill me, I ought to be on the lookout for a mottling dispenser. That chap with the bridge. I suppose now I better figure out how to get rid of him real quiet like. I definitely don't want a crowd. It's not you, it's me. Thank you.
Tea party. Nanny. Dari original show snow. So he got kicked out. He's talking about stuff that he misses. And within about a week, he remembers all the crap he did. Done being sick, I am not done being sick. Just relax. Don't question it. Right, have fun with your brain. Oh. As I throw up on your face. Causes bouts of vomiting until cured or hunger is depleted. <laughs> yes, yes, she did. Thank you. 
this guy going? I like how I'm vomiting my guts out and these two guys are just like, oh, what, what was that? let this deplete my stomach because I don't I don't know what else to do I really don't know what else to do because I don't have what I need to cure it Please don't make a fuss.
that just sent me into the basement. Okay. There we go. Motilene. The pure, resublimated dimotilene. The fuel of the future now. Go to that hamlet and give that chap his medals, and he'll give me the card I need to cross the bridge. Welcome to today's edition of Well, 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 the show where we talk about how to be your physical best. Now, some of you dear listeners have been writing in about some sort of plague that's supposed to be going around right. That's everything I had when they jumped me. Real quick, is there anything up here? and disappear into those bushes.
So this guy is by himself. The other dude is by himself. So I can easily... Oh. You know, it's so much fun being sneaky on a sick stomach. Darn it, he's there. over there. I'm not done. I want to steal other stuff. I'm, I'm being a sneaky little thief. No. First, let me vomit. Please just lie down.
to make a lot Make some sort of ointment to put on my wounds, otherwise I'll never feel better. Okay, where I'm guessing it's night time, so let's try and go see if we can't find some Yes! Pink pretty flowers! I want you no. Is this what I need to get better is the flowers? It's over. The throwing up is over. Don't mind me. They just disappeared. Oh. It occurs to me that the locals may not be all that welcoming. Oh dear, let's try not to get killed, shall we? Hello? Anyone out there? Oh. Are you a tourist? You're dressed like one. Shit. Slumming it, are we? Must be nice to have a closet. Over here. Over here. You want to get thrashed? 